Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I've taken a break from searching for the silent cartographer to come back and search for ammo. But did we find any ammo, Chief? No, we didn't. <laughs> Fun with the animation models. I don't know, maybe someone sent out a detail to bury all the bodies, because there ain't shit here. I don't even see any guns. Where the hell? Where did you come from? Well, get up so I can kill you again. I always did like that line. Huh. Well, I guess when I run out of ammo, I'll just switch to a plasma rifle or something. Oh, I like that! That entire island over there disappears. Must be outside the box. You know, the invisible box that they keep this level in, that I found one of the edges of last time. Okay, there is the facility that we believe contains the silent cartographer, the map room for Halo. There's some more rocks that look like dead jackals from a distance. Oh. It looks like there is a path into the interior of the island. <laughs> what the Guys. Oh, and there's ammo right here. Ooh, bad dodge. I empathize. I have made that kind of miscalculation. Yes, die, die, die! Let him have it! Mmm! I think, this is, I think this gun is officially classified somewhere as a light anti-aircraft vehicle. Vehicle? No, a uh, weapon, rather. Yes, good. I'll just roll around in all this gear and it'll be fine. Hey, some of you guys are hurt. Can you, you Do you want to use this health kit? No? Okay, fine. Although, just because I can. Yes, you can actually use this one. Totally functional, not a prop. Although, uh, Halo 1 only has one as a two-player co-op. So, uh, there's actually no reason to do that. Unless you both wanted to... Well, you know, my brother and I went out to sea and, uh, well, jousted at each other with the Warthogs. But, uh, that didn't actually accomplish anything. I recently learned that when a tree has its roots above the ground like this, it means the area is prone to flooding. High tide must be a bitch. Or maybe they just wanted the trees to look alien and cool. Hi there! Damn, too far. Come on, come on, hit me! kept running. Damn. I was gonna, like, turn around and smack him in the back, but then he just kept going. Huh. I never noticed that before. I guess it's because I'm using headphones this time. When you only have one health left, there's uh, a fucking heartbeat in the background, and it gets quieter when your shields come back. Oh, stupid. Oh, yeah, the rock actually sticks out a bit further than that in the actual model.
I need these guys dead so they don't follow me back to the beach. Oh, that was so close. On the other hand, since the heartbeat suggests to me that I am on the very brink of death, I am going to go backtrack to that health kit I did not pick up earlier. Oh, that's why you guys didn't want to heal. You were saving it for me. Aww. I'm touched, you guys, really. You know, I never actually rec learned to recognize what the uh, different ammo clips look like. I don't know if that's pistol ammo or uh, M225, 2.7 by 40 millimeters, SAP HP. Well, I'm full of both, so I don't know what it is. Oh, in addition to uh, the Warthog becoming, you know, mortal in uh, future games, they also changed up the, uh, I think eventually changed up the, uh, the chain gun so that it overheats like an energy weapon. You know, because overheating is actually a concern with uh, such guns in real life. I've heard that if you fire a minigun continuously for 60 seconds, the barrel will get so hot, it will warp out of shape and be unable to fire again after that. Or no, wait, that was an, uh, 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 an M60, I think it was called. You know, big, great big Rambo machine gun, not a minigun. They have, like, six different barrels. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, there you are. I see you. They had a real problem with the Halo 1 pistol. They weren't satisfied with it, with how powerful it turned out to be. And to give you a demonstration of how powerful it turned out to be... Hey, guys! Yeah, that's a problem. Achievement unlocked, you are the weapon. Halo CE, kill a hunter with one pistol round. Oh, very cute. Oh, God! Oh, shit! I forgot they run just as fast as I do. Ah! Uh, uh. Ow! I took off half my shields and he didn't even hit me directly. Ooh. Morons. You know, I think... Oh, is that a finger there? Is that a finger? Oh, I never noticed that before. Huh. I honestly thought the armor didn't have any hands, and uh, that made sense to me, because they don't have any hands. Remember, they're just collections of worms. Although they did... I think I found a terminal! Because I, 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 I saw that, it's like, well, that's conspicuous. Before I grab that, I'm just going to check. No, no, that's orange. It just faded. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I actually remember that. They changed the new graphics so that the glowy blood fades after a while, which is kind of cool. Oh, one for each of us if we're playing co-op. Uh, yes, terminal. Let's see what... uh. New wonders it shows us this time. I'm not familiar with the terminals, incidentally, so this is probably going to be just as new to me as it is to you. Entropy. It has now been 3,000 years since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite clear communications protocol, my fellow monitors have either chosen to ignore, or, more likely, 
have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The continued lapse of the domain means that we are stuck with aching this the wormhole of superluminal communications. Achingly slow. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have lost my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are fail safes for this, I know. I hope they work. I will continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned dates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. 3,000 years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible of After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation, I became bored. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised, an end to strife. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sentient proximity warning. Okay, uh, I wasn't expecting it to come up quite so soon, but yeah, cat's out of the bag. There's more than one halo. There are seven of them in the array. This one is number four, but uh, the humans just call it, al just refer to it as uh, Alpha Halo because it's the first one we ever encountered. We're like that. Already has a perfectly good name. But no, 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 Alpha Halo it is. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it before. But uh, all of the monitor AIs for the uh, Halo arrays, or the Halo, sorry, rings, uh, as part of Bungie's obsession with the number seven, all of them begin with a number that is a power of seven. Two four zero one, you know, zero four nine, I think it was. And I will let our friend there introduce himself when the time comes. Or, you know, when we come across a terminal that does that. <laughs> Ah, he's too short for the punch! Got your butt! Ugh, balls, I've already lost the overshield. 
There was another one back there, but, uh... Oh no, I interrupted that animation I like. That's better. I'm not sure what he's actually doing when he pulls out the uh, assault rifle. I'm guessing that's the safety. Oh, this is the fucking wall. I thought this was going to be a door. Derp. Well, there's got to be a way in. The Forerunners were mysterious, but I'm pretty sure they never designed a room that no one could get into. Because that would just be silly. Hmm. I should also probably mention something about AIs in general. Uh... Humanity has two types of them, smart and dumb. A dumb AI is just a very, very, very complicated computer program. You just put code into a machine, hit compile or execute or whatever, and voila. They can be very lifelike, and they... I'm trying to remember what's in this place that justifies three overshields, and now I'm alarmed. Because I don't remember anything that dangerous. To be honest, I didn't even remember the detour. Oh, shit! I mean, yeah, I'm using the gun that doesn't instantly kill them because I don't want to feel cheap, but still, the fact that I'm literally holding back doesn't mean that they're not a threat. Ah! Oh! My ass. Oh, no, they're gonna go through all, all of my shields. Ow! My face. One of the Halo novels, I guess before they decided on the proper lore, mentions a uh, hunter being shot in the spine. And I understand that uh, they were... They're so particular about the lore that when they re-released that novel, they removed that line. Uh, similarly, one of the very early novels has a bit about a pack of... Gr uh, hey, that's the word they use. A pack of grunts dropping to all fours and charging forwards while baying and snarling like wild animals. Is it baying or braying? Maybe both. Um, yeah, maybe both are words. I think someone realized that making the grunts into the wild, feral ones made no sense because they can't bite you without, you know, choking to death. I believe the elites have claws. They just don't use them. You know, being civilized and all. Although, to be fair, they did invent laser use swords. The panel to shut down the security system. No, that that still looks good. I like that. You know, let's, let's just make it shimmery. That's all we're going to do. That's a really cool model. Oh, and it's projecting itself on the walls. That's baller. I like that. Ooh, I can see myself. Oh! Oh! Actually, yeah, oh no, that, what? Oh, that is the old graphics. Okay, look very carefully at the shoe to the, uh, the, to the side of my reticle there. God damn it, I'm not holding it right in the middle. M-R-L. One of the art guys stuck his initials on the bottom of the Master Chief's foot. <laughs> like whoever actually designed the model for the Master Chief was so proud of himself that he signed his work. Ah, what the hell. Triple field goal! Oh good, they're dead. Oh, shiny. 
Now that's interesting to me, because now it's a conveyor belt. And although it's, you know, shining and going in one direction, I never saw any indication that, uh... You know, it was meant to move. I don't know, maybe this is a Forerunner airport scanner. Um... No, there goes the timer. I guess I'll finish that thought I had earlier. Uh, a smart AI, on the other hand, is an entirely different beast from a dumb AI. Uh, see, the difference is, in, pra in function, a dumb AI cannot learn. You know, it doesn't have any feelings. It can simulate them if you program it to, but it's not really feeling anything. You know, uh, there are no dumb AI in this game uh, that I know of, but, uh... You do meet some eventually. There's at least two in the Master Chief collection. But, um... Smart AI are created by taking a human brain, generally someone who's donated their, uh... You know, mind and body to science. And, uh... Oh, I've just realized that those are on the wall. Ahem! They've donated their mind and body to science, and, uh... They take their brain, they scan it through a computer, and it charts the neural pathways, and then re- I don't know, I don't really understand this part. It creates a digital model, a functional digital model, of those neural pathways. So that a smart AI is called that because it can actually think. They are self-aware. They are proper beings. They just so happen to have safeguards in them so that they cannot rebel against their masters. Uh, you know, given that... Well, Cortana, for example, is as smart as uh, any human. But... She can think about a hundred million times faster because she is a computer program. And she's. Uh, when you start to ask her something, she's finished with the calculations before you've finished saying the question. She's just waiting for you to finish because it's rude to constantly interrupt humans. Uh, actually, Cortana in particular is a special case. The uh, head scientist from the Spartan program, Dr. Elizabeth Halsey, I believe her name was. Uh... She just wanted to see what. Yeah, you have to use a, a. You have to remove a brain from a skull to do it. So it was only ever done with dead brains from like smart people. Halsey cloned her own brain, then scanned that to make an AI, just because she wanted to see what would happen. And the result was Cortana, the only AI ever made out of a living person. But uh, now I'm just rambling, and uh, we need to head further into the facility shut off the uh, security so that we can access the silent cartar cartographer. And we'll do that next time on Let's Play Halo Anniversary. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then. Later!